Hey guys, it's Johnny here from Casa Cigars. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's been a little while since I last posted, but I'm excited to do a new cigar review for you guys. Since it's such beautiful weather, got the Hawaiian shirt on finally. We can all uh, actually enjoy our summer maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to review the H. Upman Magnum 54, okay? This is personally on my top five cigars. Um, it's not an inexpensive cigar at all, as this is a Habano cigar. Um, as you can see, I already gave myself a cut and a light. I was having some issues with my lighter, had to fill it up with the butane again, and I was getting an uneven burn because I used my other lighter. So now that I'm evening out, I can actually give you a proper first impression of the cigar and not have you guys waiting so long for me to actually light up and look stupid. Um, but uh, the cigar is finally smoking properly. Uh, first impressions from the cigar, it's on the medium side right away. And I'm expecting it to stay at that medium level all the way through into the last third where it's going to get a little bit heavier. And you're going to know that you're done with your smoke because you're going to get all that nicotine in your mouth. You're going to feel nice and relaxed. And um, by the end of this cigar, you're going to feel really satisfied. That's for sure. Um, this cigar goes for about 50 bucks here in Canada. It's not cheap at all. Um, as always, got this one directly from Victory Cigars. You guys should always check them out. You can call them for delivery within uh, the Oshawa area, or you can even do a curbside pickup, which they have established there. So go ahead and visit Victory Cigars on uh, King Street in Oshawa and hit them up. Um, but yeah, this cigar is really, really nice. It's exactly what you would expect from a Cuban. It's on that beautiful medium side. The aromatics is beautiful. Um, the mouthfeel is great because it's a bigger cigar. So 54 actually stands for the 54 ring gauge in the cigar. So it's the thickness of the overall cigar. So it's the circumference. And when you put this thing in your mouth, you, you really feel like you're smoking a cigar. Okay. Um, I know it kind of sounds weird, but it, it's true. When you have this in your mouth, it's a big dog, as they say. Okay. But yeah, definitely a beautiful cigar. I've been wanting to do this one for you guys for a little while. Uh, we did the Trinidad Topaz cigar, which was beautiful. That's a uh, beautiful uh, um, Habano cigar as well. But for me, the Upman, because of the history with Upman and uh, their overall brand quality, it's definitely a cigar to to try. Um, but yeah, first, uh, first couple um, uh, pulls from the cigar are beautiful. We're going to give you an update through the first third. And then halfway through the cigar, after we give you our second third, I'm going to let you know a little bit about each Upman um, because the story behind the company is, is pretty cool as well. Um, so, guys, thank you again for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. Uh, you guys are able to share it to friends or, um, you know, of course, leave a like, comment, and suggestions for cigars that maybe you want me to try. It doesn't matter what type of tobacco it is. If it's a cheap cigar, an expensive cigar, I'll always try to do something for you guys, okay? So, thank you again for watching, and we'll give you an update in the first third. All right, guys, so I just want to let you know a little bit about the history about each Upman cigars. Um, so, Upman is not a Cuban last name. So just want to let you know that the actual founder of these cigars was a German. Uh, this German man, his name was Hermann Dietrich Upman. That's what's H. Upman. He actually opened up a bank in Cuba that was called uh, Upman Banking & Co. And essentially what he did while he was in Cuba was he bought out a whole bunch of tobacco farms and he ended up uh, distributing his own cigars to the European market. So he was able to take that uh, that market and bring it over to Europe in bigger in bigger quantities and units so that he could make more money in Europe. So it's pretty interesting there. But another key, uh, key thing was that um, <laughs> Upman Cigars was actually... Um, boycotted by the United States during the Second World War. So for so many years, Upman cigars were not available anywhere in Europe and almost actually destroyed his business. Thank God for his banking company, um, this, his company was able to pull through, he shut down cigar manufacture, but then he later brought it back as I believe it was his son or, uh, or a nephew who actually continued the business on the road. So this Upman cigar has got some pretty cool history. It's amazing to see that the cigar company pulled through and that I'm able to sit here and actually enjoy the cigar, despite the fact that because of the uh, German uh, relations between him obviously being a German in the Second World War, the Americans and the Allies weren't buying German goods. 
And even though it was made in Cuba, it was owned by a German, and they thought that uh, he was maybe a part of the Nazis. So he wasn't, but I'm very, very happy that I can actually smoke this cigar and enjoy it. It's one of the most prestigious Cuban brands out there behind like Cohiba, Romeo and Juliet. So I'm really happy to smoke this guys. And uh, we're actually at the first third of the cigar roughly. Um, the notes have stayed very consistent, which I'm very happy. I'm getting some flavor notes of earth, a little bit of almost like uh, creaminess and caramel. Um, beautiful cigar we're going to give you an update at the second third and i hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the video thank you so much all right guys so now we're into the second third of the cigar the notes have stayed very very consistent um but you can definitely tell that this cigar is very refined in its flavor its notes and also the aroma and mouthfeel um so i think that this cigar is definitely going to rate uh, relatively high I'm guessing it's going to be in the low 90 to high 80 for my own personal uh, review. I'm just going to go ahead and cleanse my palate with the uh, with some Hennessy. Take a couple pulls. beautiful it's got the notes of cedar it's got the earthiness to it like i said before it's got that beautiful amount of cream the smoke in your mouth is not attacking your mouth and not creating a stinging sensation at all it's just beautifully done for sure um but now we're going to go ahead and give you um, the last third and the overall review of this particular cigar i'm just going to smoke it down to probably halfway to this bottom uh label here and uh, we'll let you guys know in a couple minutes when we get down there. Thank you. All right, guys. So now that we're into the final third of the cigar, just want to let you know that overall, everything was beautiful all the way throughout. It did get a little bit stronger at the end, which is what I was expecting. Um, just to give you an overall rating of everything. Uh, for the burn of the cigar, I'm going to give it a four because at the beginning, it wasn't too good, but I was able to get it. And then through the smoke of the cigar, it was pretty consistent. Uh, for the notes, I'm going to give it a 4.5. It was really enjoyable, but I have had notes that were a little bit more expressive. For the aroma, I'm going to give it a 4.5 as well. Mouthfeel was a 5 because it's a 54 ring gauge with the V-cut, so you can't complain about it at all. And you can see the overall construction. It stayed very well together. Um, the draw on this cigar was a 4. I did find that I had to um, draw a little bit further back on it, and I did have to relay twice, okay? Um, overall, that means that we're going to give this particular cigar an 88 rating. Okay, that is very, very good. Anything that is going to be in the 80s and 90s is what you want to be spending your money on. And for a $50 cigar, you don't want to be getting a 70 rating cigar and not enjoy it. So I would definitely recommend this to you guys. I'm going to try to get this a couple more times in the summer for myself to enjoy as well. Uh, thank you guys again for watching Costa Cigars. And as always, stay smoking, fam.